Hello and welcome to my presentation for Management Issues for Information Professionals. Today I'm going to be presenting to you on the topic of communication in libraries. Communication is vital to managing libraries. Librarians need to communicate with their users to help meet the user's needs. Communication also promotes the library, maintaining its relevance. Customer management must be embedded in the organisation and its culture. This means that the communication between the library staff and the library's customers is necessary for the library to be seen as valuable. Customers have a zone of tolerance, or expectation levels of service. If the help they receive falls within the zone of tolerance, or their perceived quality, they will be satisfied. If not, they will be dissatisfied and look elsewhere. International students in academic libraries have their own cultural experiences, communication styles and language barriers. Library staff need to take into account the cultural differences when dealing with customers. Communication in the library has changed as technology has evolved. Librarians communicate with their customers online, whereas they used to do so face to face. So, my problem question or statement is, what communication strategies and techniques can improve the communication within the library and to different library users? The main benefit of networking in libraries is the access to a vast amount of information in a particular field, such as different perspectives, knowledge and skills. Networking increases communication and also the access to information. Library staff need to be customer service oriented and helpful. Getting to know customers and their needs is important but also takes time. Communication involves building relationships with customers. Nowadays, libraries promote information and communication rather than controlling it. For example, they provide more social spaces, collaboration and enabling communication of information through social media. Libraries provide space for community which fosters user participation. This is done both physically and virtually. These encourage empowerment in users both in the library and online. These move users out of social isolation and increase communication between staff and users. Networking, meeting users' needs, promoting communication of information and encouraging community and empowerment. These would improve the communication of, between both library staff and users. Organising the library to communicate with its users would ensure smooth operation and communication.